The Associated Press declared Joe Biden the winner in Wisconsin after the state went down to the wire in the presidential election. Well, now the Trump campaign is making their intentions of asking for a recount known, saying that they plan to file as soon as they can. Live with more on the recount request, News 3's Taylor Lazenby. Good morning, Taylor. In six presidential elections that a presidential candidate has asked Wisconsin for a recount. Now, Trump's campaign manager says a statement that reports of flaws in several Wisconsin counties raises serious doubts about the results. But they did not say what those flaws are. And state election officials say they have no reports of these flaws. In 2016, a recount confirmed President Trump had narrowly won Wisconsin. Election officials say the results barely shifted from the initial count of ballots. Now I spoke with Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald, who says we have seen this before and the votes were accurate. You can tell by, the, by that they don't have enough votes to change anything, but you still have to do that. There was some talk about, oh, look at all these votes changed. Most of it was taking a write-in candidate and moving it to a registered write-in pile had no effect on the overall totals. Well, based on the current margin, the Trump campaign would have to pay for the recount itself. Now, the Trump campaign has also filed for lawsuits in Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania to stop the vote counts in those states. Reporting live in downtown Madison, Taylor Lazenby, News 3 Now.